Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to navigate through GoodNotes, my thoughts, and everything you need to know about GoodNotes. So I have been using GoodNotes for about three months. I have been in school for a little over a month and I downloaded GoodNotes early because I wanted to know how to use it and all the quirks to it. And I feel like I have a good knowledge of how to use it and all the tips I can give you guys is through um, those three months that I have been using it. So I am super, super excited to finally be filming this video because I cannot stop talking about this app to everybody I know that goes to school. Like, I want everybody to eventually become a paperless student like me. Okay, everyone, so let's go ahead and get started. So I'm going to open up my GoodNotes app. And this is what um, my human biology folder looks like. So we're gonna just go ahead and start and open a a uh, new notebook, but let me show you this. So you are able to make a new notebook, a new folder, an image, scan documents, take a photo, import, and a quick note. I use quick notes for like grocery lists because I can pull up good notes on my phone. I mostly use notebook and folder. I haven't used scan documents or image. So let's go ahead and open a new notebook. So you're gonna see you have so many paper templates in here and you have so many different notebook designs that you guys can choose from. And then you guys can see here, it's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, you can just make or name your notebook, whatever you want. But I already made us a notebook, which is right here. It's called YouTube. I liked the square paper because uh, my handwriting looks a lot neater than what it actually is. So you're going to see that a lot of people, or if you guys watch different Good Notes videos, a lot of people have their little, I'm gonna call this a panel, their panel up here. I always press the home button when I'm writing, so mine is down here, so I have, I'm more comfortable writing up here. So I'm just gonna show you guys the panel really quick. So the first button here is going to be your pen. The next one is going to be your eraser, highlighter, the shape tool, the lasso tool, insert pictures, take a photo, insert text. So let's go ahead and start with the pen. I love that GoodNotes has presets. So as you can see here, we have black, green, red, and then I have my pen set at 0.45 mm. My next one I have set at 0.6 and then my big one that I use for mostly highlighting is set at two. Actually, I just changed that today, lies. I don't remember what I usually have my highlighter at. So, yeah. Um, I also use the ballpoint pen when I am writing. I like how the fountain pen looks like though when you wanna, it looks like uh, calligraphy. So, Let's see, ballpoint pen. So if you click this little box over here, I apologize, this isn't focusing. This box over here, this is going to zoom in and then you can just start writing up here. So we can write he there. Hope you guys get good notes this is like awful handwriting this is super sloppy for me um so you guys can write like this and then this just fix like these buttons right here aligned to the page or what you can also do is click x out of there and you can also just zoom into the paper and write that way like hey there how are you this is so sloppy like i said and then we're gonna click our eraser here and erase everything. And with the eraser, you guys have your presets as well. I have mine set to where if I click the eraser and once I lift up my pencil, it goes back to the pen. But you have three presets with the eraser. And then you also have presets with the um, highlighter the shape tool, 
I mostly use um, for like when I write my own titles and such. I don't really like the shape tool in GoodNotes, um, but that's just me personally. You can also change it um, so if you don't want it to fill with color, you can change that as well. So let's just do the shape here. And then um, if you guys want, like, I'll show you guys the over app um, in a second. But let's go to our photos. And then we have here, um, I'm going to just insert a little title that I made. So I'm learning about the skeletal system right now in class. So right here you can just put um, bones of the skeletal system, move this font around, and make it bigger, move it side to side. Um, I just like how customizable this is. Um, and I know somebody that actually downloaded uh, planners from like Etsy and such, and they put that into GoodNotes, and it looks amazing. So you'll see your most recent photos right here. And you can just insert whatever photos you guys want. Same thing with picture, you can just take a picture and it'll pop it up on here. And text, you can just go ahead and type any type of text in here. So let's go back here. All right, so let's go back to our panel here and talk about these other buttons down here. So we have this little square box that's going to show you all of the pages that you have within that notebook. So let me go to a notebook that has like a lot of stuff. So let me go to my lecture notes. I'm going to click that button and you guys are going to see all of the different pages that I have here. And like, for example, this is um, a photo that I took uh, from my computer and then I just usually screenshot and take photos of the pictures that are within that PowerPoint. And then as you can see, I just write in different colors sometimes. Um, so this is where I use the shape tool right here. I know my notes can look like it's a lot, but, um, and then these titles, all my titles I make in the app over, which I will show you guys now. So, it just looks like this. It is um, a uh, yellow icon. It is literally the easiest thing I have ever used to make any type of titles. So, let's just click this plus sign. You're going to want transparent. And you have all these different sizes. It does not matter which one you use at all or if it's a Facebook or Twitter or whatever it says. I just use any wide one. I don't even look at which one I pick at this point. Sometimes I'll pick these, sometimes I'll go with the Facebook ones, it doesn't even matter. Pick one and then you're gonna go up here, do the arrow, and you're going to click text. And let's just click, or I'm sorry, let's just put in skeleton. You have all these three fonts, the ones that aren't in red. And you're going to just go ahead and pick one. We'll, we'll pick this one. Click the arrow again. And you can change the font here too once you exit out. And you can just zoom in, make that font bigger. Click color. Go to this color wheel. And you can change the color like this. And sometimes I'll make it darker with this third one here. And do it like that. Next, if you want to be fancy and have a shadow behind it, go to shadow. My most used ones are angle and blur. Blur I'll do like halfway through here and then go to opacity and go all the way so it sticks out even more. Click the arrow again up here. Make this a little bigger. Click this little box up here on the top right corner. Save, switch back to good notes, um, and then down here what's awesome is that your notebooks are still saved so I can pop right into my YouTube one and then we're going to click our photo button, there it is, skeleton. And then once you have that word I showed you guys earlier, you can zoom in, make it bigger, move it side to side, you can also double click. Oops. 
or just click it and click crop and then GoodNotes will let you also um, go ahead and rearrange that in their app. Moving on, the next button here is the search button. This is going to look through the entire notebook of what you're looking for. So if you're looking for, let's say, epithelial tissue, um, it's going to pull up every single thing that you have on epithelial tissue. So let me go to my notebook that has um, that material. So I'm going to click the search bar here. And you guys can already see it is highlighting where the words are and what the page looks like. Okay. And then the next button we have is the bookmark. So if you want to find a page quicker, you can just go ahead and click that bookmark and it'll be um, accessed on the beginning of the page. You can also click that and print. If you're going to print the pages, it is best to go to A4 when you begin your notebook. And then you can, it has like different presentation modes and everything, so that's pretty neat. These are your undo buttons, which I use all the time when I'm messing up my writing. So just go here and put, hey there, undo, 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 undo. So I use that all the time when I'm like, eh, that letter's too close to that one. I'm really picky with my notes, so. Um, and then the next button we have is this plus sign. This is where you can change the paper. Good Notes recently had this amazing update and it has this dark mode. I absolutely love it. And you can also import images, take photos, import things from here as well. And if you click templates, you'll go back to here uh, where it has all the different types of papers. And then if you click the next button over, it has like a little pen. You'll go into what is called like a presentation mode. So you won't have any of the pens. You, this is how I study most of the time. Um, so yeah, and then you click it again, and everything will pop up on your panel again. If you click the three dots at the end, everything comes up setting wise. You can change the template, you can change your scrolling direction, mine's vertical, you can change it to go horizontal. Document editing is, um, this is where I was talking about my panel is at uh, the bottom, but you can change it to the top. Auto advance, I'll go ahead and turn it on for you guys to show you. Once you have this window open, <clears throat> excuse me, you can just, uh, we'll go up here. Let me put hey there. You'll see this little box pop up. So instead of scrolling this over with my finger, um, you can just keep typing how are you and it'll take you, see, hello. It'll keep writing for you um, so you don't have to keep moving the page over. The next thing that I want to show you is how to add a page. It's pretty self-explanatory. You can just go here to the boxes, add a page, or you can just uh, scroll up or down. So let me go to this page here, and it'll show you this little thing that says release to add page, or you could go back, and let's say you accidentally did that. Go back to your squares here, there's a little arrow down here. Move to trash. Oops. And we can just move to trash. And let's go back out here. You also have, oops, you also have your settings up here as well. Um, same thing, <clears throat> your notebook templates, your settings. Um, this is all about like your pencil, the sensitivity, um, the type of stylus that you have, um, backing up um, all your notebooks. Like I said, everything that's updated on here is going to show on my phone because I have an iPhone. And then this is the dark mode that I was showing you that I was talking about earlier. Um, I just use bright colors on here. And another thing I want to show you guys is how to split screen. It's um, another feature that GoodNotes had in their update. So there's several ways you can do split screen, but I'm just going to show you the way I do it. 
um, just because I haven't really found out all of the different ways to do it, but I still want to go ahead and show you guys. So when I go down here to my panel, I'm going to take my pencil and I'm going to click on this button here and you're going to lift it up and you're going to scroll it to the side until it says this, uh, good notes. It's going to automatically give you to a split screen. And this has it on a different window, if you guys can tell. I don't know why it's doing that, but you can, oh jeez, one second. There we go. Okay, so then usually when I'm in lecture, I'll turn this to the side, so then I have this going on. So generally, I will have my PowerPoint on this side and I'll zoom out so I can see everything. And then on this side, I'll have this with the text box and I'll be writing like this. I'll be writing like this. And this has made it so much easier because GoodNotes didn't have this, this feature at all. And I was so mad because it was just kind of inconvenient because I was just going back like this between both pages when I was doing my notes. Um, what else? Let's see. The only thing I hate about the new update is when you do split screen, you have to click and it's kind of like notability. If you guys have seen how notability works, you have to go back and if you want to change color, you have to go back every time in the toolbar and change the color. But if you go to a full screen, you have your presets again. Usually I'll have it like this laid out um, horizontally when I'm taking notes. Um, because like I said, I'm just like, I don't know, like I think it's just the way I rest my hand. I hate always clicking the home button and it's always switching. But I write really aggressively too, so it could just be that. Um, but this is just my PowerPoint. I don't write too many notes on it. I rewrite my notes um, before a lecture, so I just have an idea of what I'm learning. But if you guys have any questions at all, or if you guys wanna see a separate video on how I actually write my notes, please let me know. I'd be more than happy to help you guys out. Um, other than that, I will see you guys in the next video. Have a nice week.